Good morning, YouTubers. You have reached the Brian Sledge channel. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Uh, thank you very much, and have a great day. Bye. Smartphones, Amazon, social media, electric cars, fracking, nanotechnology, the sharing economy. None of these pies existed two decades ago. So why are we bitching? This is something we wanted to talk about, and, and Brodigan, you were passionate about this. Bill, have you been following Alexandria Cortez a whole lot? Um, yes, I have been very, very, very diligently trying to figure out what her middle names are. <laughs> <laughs> For the last I 10 I haven't minutes. gotten quite anywhere else. That's, that's about it. 365 an hour. Yes, I, yeah. I was going to say, can we multiple the hours by his How much money have you spent on figuring this out? Mm. I, so in, 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 in non-surprising news, according to, according to her, uh, America no longer has the upper middle class. She said there is no more middle class in the United States. She's given a couple of interviews lately, but this is actually something uh, more specific where she refers to, she, again, she's trying to paint a mental picture. Yeah. She's taking the mantle from Bernie Sanders. You know, you know he's pissed about she's that. She's going further left than he, he is, which he's is like, crazy. Yeah, okay. Well, let's see, let's see the clip first where she talks about this. This, like, upper middle class is probably more moderate, mm -hmm. um, but that upper middle class doesn't exist anymore in America. You know, their heyday was in the 90s when, like, you know, kids had, like, Furbies and, like, parents that you had, like, soccer moms with, like, two vans and stuff. Like <laughs> Furbies and two vans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that's, that's a dream. <laughs> that's not America anymore. <laughs> No, it's not America anymore. You don't even recognize America if you have true, actual, crazy eyes. Yeah, look, this is <laughs> that's awesome. You know who's most upset about this is is Bernie Sanders because yeah. she's more she's still more attractive than Bernie Sanders. That's true. He's like socialism is an aging son of a bitch. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine being him staking out that far left position saying there's no way anybody's going to top this and boom. And he, ha he crazy has to comes along. the territory. I'm a cisgender prick. <laughs> the mantle is yours. <laughs> 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 he started it. But it's, it's true, though. This is, how, uh, this is how the left sees the world, Cortez. So when America right now actually looks like this. Andrea something Cortez actually sees this. Great movie. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Guys, by the way, here, let's get into her specific claim. Okay, she talks about the 90s in the middle class, and now she talks about two veins and Furbies and, like, stuff. Um, uh, okay, today, actually, Americans have it better than the 90s. So let's just yeah, use her figure. comparison. So the average vehicle, specifically, Fur which you're per sucked. capita. <laughs> and Furby sucked. <laughs> We've moved on. <laughs> steadily risen along with the median income, yes, yes, when adjusted for inflation. So even in her examples... They have more cars and they have more money. And by the way, when you look at things that she didn't bring up, which is what we talk about a lot as free enterprise advocates, and you can comment, I'd love to hear from you, uh, with advancements in technology, things like, okay, think of plasma screen cell phones yeah. now, smartphones. Again, 90s, you go back, it was still just a cell phone, a yeah. cellular phone. If you were lucky. Yeah. And smartphone services online educational assistance. Um, re everything is more accessible than ever. Well, what yeah. we're missing here is that what she actually wants to do is actually make food more expensive. Think right. about yeah. it. Exactly. Food more expensive when it all has to be local and organic and has to go through every thing and single thing possible that the business progress has made over the years so that people yeah. can get fed that's actually the opposite of what she wants especially to try sticking a paper straw on a coconut no you're right <laughs> actually we have an overlay from uh, american enterprise food is cheaper right now and more healthy than ever more healthy options than ever they used to yeah. remember they used to talk about this these, these food deserts like, yeah food deserts okay well now there's amazon fresh <laughs> <laughs> Damn you, Amazon! Here's the thing. They'd be even cheaper if we didn't price fix. So good oh, examples yeah. like Mich in Michigan, uh, because the Great Lakes, uh, record highs in a lot of them, and actually some of the best crop years ever. The last few years, <laughs> yeah. you know this, Nakajir, Michigan's are a very persnickety crop, so they need, yeah. yep. it's not extreme cold or extreme hot. They need a very long, moderate, slow-thawing winter, and they've had the best, best in damn years. Best cherries around. So what happens? They make them dump cherries. Yep. Same thing in Canada from in Quebec. Remember they used to make them dump milk because they wanted to, they, the prices yeah. would be too low. Like, well, cherries will be too cheap. So we have to we have to save the cherry farm. Let's fix the prices of the cherries. And the, the milk, they're not giving them to cheese factories. No. They're not giving them to the homeless. Jumping down no, the drain. Just, just put, give it to a homeless shelter. <laughs> price fix. Homeless shelter fixing <laughs> prices. If, by the way, if we're talking about where the middle class is getting reamed on prices, at least as far as 2016 and 2017 is concerned, uh, America has actually spent more money on taxes and food and clothing wow. combined. Coming yeah. from your labor statistics, Miss Socialist. <laughs> a little bit more.
So it's always like, if more. we want to talk about Americans having more money, uh, again, like you said, take a closer look at the, the government. Also, by the way, uh, Cor Cortez, something, something Cortez, sees Furbies like this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of agree with her there. <laughs> <laughs> she goes on to make another claim that uh, unemployment is only low because Americans have to work two jobs. Let her say it. The numbers that you just talked about is part of the problem, right? Because we look at these figures and we say, oh, unemployment is low. Everything is fine, right? Well, unemployment is low because everyone has two jobs. <laughs> All right. Everyone. Even PolitiFact, bring this up, brought again, rated this as pants on fire. <laughs> So, I mean, that, that is friendly pants <laughs> yes, on fire, by yeah, the way. Exactly. They searched wow. the first page of Google and then wrote the, wrote the article. Yes, yes. 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 <laughs> that's, the first link says no. That, that's what's remarkable about this, because I'm, I'm pretty sure um, PolitiFact is funded by Hillary Clinton donors. Pretty much. So for Alexandria, the Riz of the Jersey, an old dirty bastard, Cortez, to get a pants on fire. <laughs> How long have you been working on this? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's <just> so good. <laughs> And by the way, I, I, I want to get this correct. I'm pretty sure PolitiFact is funded by uh, Podesta's uh, underground pizza sex ring. Right? Yes, Bill? that's yeah, absolutely correct. Confirm it. Sex ring, yeah. Uh, yeah. Not yeah. allegedly. Truth by matters. the way, we, just, we, have, we have the numbers. It's currently actually the number of, uh, I think, job holders is about 7 million compared to more than 148 million Americans who are employed in a single job. So yeah. this is important. It's not, it's not because of two jobs. And by the way, also, um, a lot of people are working second jobs right now because of Something else that the left opposes, ironically, socialists oppose the sharing economy. So people yeah. who work full-time jobs who don't have to work second jobs, they drive Uber or they use their home as an Airbnb. and some that. So it's really hard to get those numbers. Even then, it's more damning than she would hope you to believe. Again, rated pants on fire. But here's another thing that she goes on to suggest because the other things aren't necessarily working. So she just keeps digging her hole deeper and deeper with her bug eyes. I don't think she knows <laughs> that. Like, Where am I? <laughs> um, <laughs> new, I new ideas, new. right? Like universal basic income. The mayor of Stockton, he's exploring doing a pilot program of universal basic mayor income. Of That's also what people <laughs> want right now. They City. want yes. new what, what ideas. What she actually means is Nick and Nate Diaz. Right, yes, exactly. <laughs> Nick and Nate Diaz. Oh, my gosh. Mayor of Stockton. She's like the mayor of Stockton, a city commissioner of Toledo, Ohio. <laughs> yeah, Tule do. Have an inflant. By the way, this is not a new idea. Universal basic income has been tried in places like Canada and Finland, and surprise, they're not continuing it. Yeah, it's not going on. <laughs> it's, and here's the thing. It's, it, it, this is all based on the premise, and she she repeats this a lot ad nauseum. She repeats it as no ad nauseum, just like Bernie Sanders did. It's predicated on the concept that um, inequality is a plaguing, gigantic, evil social injustice. And it's not. We need stronger champions, but I don't think that they see exactly how rising income inequality has resulted in a very stark political reality. We've talked about this. When you yeah. people say about inequalities, what's, what's wrong with inequality? Well, don't, don't you think inequality is wrong? No. Well, and their brains explode. Let me explain to you. Yeah. Inequality in and of itself is not a problem if everyone is doing better. People can have greater economic equality and actually be far worse off. See Venezuela. Mm. So let me kind of give you an example. Let's say there's a $10 pie, okay? There's a $10 pie. I own 50, you own 50, right? We're equal. There you go. You have perfect equality. Now, is that better than let's say you go and grow that pie to $500 pie. So now I only have 20% of that pie, right? I still have 20 times what I had before, it's even though better. the equality gap has widened significantly. Where am I better yeah. off? And, and most importantly, you have pie. <laughs> <laughs> More importantly, you have pie. This is the thing. This is why yeah. inequality is not cannot be a measurement in and of itself. We no. say this. It's nuanced. It doesn't exist in a vacuum. Inequality doesn't exist in a vacuum. Anytime you have somebody who creates goods or services that benefit the rest of society, that gap is going to widen. Kind of like any time Wayne Gretzky went to go play for a hockey team. Mm -hmm. Guess what? The gap between his scoring and the rest of the players it was always wider than before Wayne Gretzky arrived on the team. But everybody else played better. Well, they were soft for Wayne Gretzky being on the team. Of course not. And this is why, because I know we had a lot of Bernie bros who sort of jumped to Donald Trump, and, and, and we have yeah. a lot of people who were formerly sort of socialists who got on board with the anti-SJW uh, bandwagon. I, I, I want to hear where you guys are right now with this Cortez business, if, if maybe your eyes have been opened. Not quite as widely as hers, but you understand where I'm coming from. <laughs> this, this. Stanley Kubrick's <laughs> eyes wide, very wide. Oh my God, <laughs> they're so wide. <laughs> are you a pug? <laughs> Oh, it's, awesome. it's, it's, it's a fundamental worldview issue where people like Cortez, she always says, oh, I have a degree and I, I, under, I, I have a degree. So I, no, she doesn't understand economics because no. not only can that pie grow, as we've talked about, but and as we've talked about this, due to human ingenuity in a free enterprise system, we can bake more pies. <laughs> to use her own words, it's not the 90s anymore. I can name you entire, entirely new pies. 
that have been created since. This is a good example. People are like, oh, you, you say you can create new pies. I don't know why I'm it's, that's a really silly argument, but that's the actual argument that she's making. She thinks it's yeah. a zero sum game. Okay, how, what pies have been created, have been baked since the 90s that didn't exist? Smartphones, mm -hmm. Amazon, yeah. social media, electric cars, fracking, nanotechnology, the sharing economy. None of these pies existed two decades ago. <laughs> or yeah. came from Venezuela. Or came from Venezuela. <laughs> or any socialist country for that or matter. Or Finland. <laughs> I'm pretty sure not much. No. Maybe something during those times. I have no idea. I cannot, I can't verify that completely, but I'm pretty sure Finland's crappy. <laughs> so why are we bitching? Oh, that's right, because Cortez sees the United States like this. Hey, if you like this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, or if you want to continue to enjoy free content, support us at lottowithcredit.com slash mugclub, where you get the full nightly show, an hour, every day free, along with all of our friends' content. If not, you don't want to do any of those things, you're probably just here, you're watching me seething. You came here to hate watch. That being said, the internet was created for people like you.